And yeah, let's check out the Rat Trap first. So this is a new Legends class, which they're calling Core class in the Kingdom line. So, I mean, this figure is smaller. Like, it's a Legends class if you think about it. So, I mean, like, you know, of course, it's not going to be perfect. Less detailed than the 35th uh, anniversary Rat Trap that you see here. Um, I really like that one. The new one kind of, eh, it looks all right. It looks more realistic and, you know, kind of like this show in a way. But, it, yeah, it has a more realistic animal mode, I guess. Yeah, and just seeing it here, um, it's smaller. Um, it, It's okay okay it's kind of cool that we're getting this core class of beast wars figures so that's kind of interesting but yeah right off the bat i mean they're doing what they can you know like i know people are saying this is really good it probably really is good for the price point but to me like i don't know it looks panelly. i mean there's screws in it i mean <laughs> You get, I mean, Beast Wars always had the problem where you could see the seams, and this is no different. It's kind of like, uh. And then, yeah, just seeing it in the robot mode, it's pretty cool. It looks like the show for sure. Um, But, yeah, it's just like I said, it's a little cheaper than I'm used to. And, like, this just makes me want to buy the original figure more than this. But it's cool that this is out, though. And, like, you know, Beast Wars on the shelf. It gives uh, life to the brand and all that. But, yeah, here's it near the 35th anniversary figure, which is pretty cool. I mean, the little one I kind of do like more if it was bigger. So, um, you know, just saying that. Like, I don't like that one with the tail that you have to bend back and that, you know, I like how the round, on the little one, uh, the, the kibble, uh, hangs on, like, the kibble kind of folds, like, down on the 35th one, like, you can see it goes up, so I'm just kind of like, eh, just not as into it, but, I mean, pff. Little one, in robot mode, the little one looks pretty beast. I do like it. I'm, it's changing my mind the more I see it, you know? You know me. I always just want to, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, you can see it next to a bumblebee, so it's a little smaller than a cliff jumper. And yeah, it's a good little size. Um, impressive head sculpt. I like it. And you know, that animal mode, just a little bit more on it. Um, it's got a beady little eye. I don't mind the brush uh, paint. I mean, it's feet and stuff is like skin color. I mean, if that's something, the tail looks like it's the same color as the body, though. So the tail isn't pink or anything, just the feet, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But yeah, it looks like you can get it into some decent poses. Like I said, I'm, I'm stoked to see these guys on the shelf. You know, I don't want to collect the original Beast Wars, like the regular line. I'd go for like a Beast Wars 2 or something in that era. Just because I had so many of these figures, and I just don't want to collect them all again. I sold them at a trying time in my life, and it just brings up regret. I should never have sold them, you know, but I mean, pfft, they're just weird on the shelf. I had them on my shelf forever. I played them to death as a kid, so maybe as a collector now. They're missing pieces, I guess, but I mean, the nostalgia for them would have been nice, but... But yeah, that's why, like, you know, I fell in love with the Beast Wars show. I fell in love with my figures after a while, and, you know, they were different. They had all these ball joints that were something neat, something original to them, and the show was my favorite Transformers show of all time, basically. Like, just the writing and the characters and how they interact with each other, I prefer it. Um, yeah, no, it's one of my favorites. Besides the 1986 movie, that's the absolute top tier of my Transformers stuff, is that tone and just everything about it, and I just love that movie to death, so that's where the standard is, and then Beast Wars, <laughs> then Victory, and then so on and so forth, but... <laughs> the original show somewhere, but just that 1986 movie style, oh. And this rat trap, it seems like you get him in a lot of poses. And for the new point price, I guess that's pretty good. But yeah, I, uh, like I said, I was kind of hating on it when I first saw the animal mode. I was like, oh, man, is that terrible? <laughs> They're seeing it more with these clearer pictures. Okay, I don't mind it. But yeah, I just, something about it. Just it looked a little too cheap, but now I'm seeing it. I'm like, oh, I know what they're going for. I mean, I do prefer this head sculpt than that 35th anniversary. I, f I prefer a lot about this figure than that figure now. It's just, I mean, I'm, the original is number one for me, but I hope we get a masterpiece of Rat Trap. Ugh! I mean, I'm getting that masterpiece of Tigertron. I just love Tigertron. He's one of my favorites. Oh, my God. He's so handsome. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, let's check out the other Beast Wars. Yeah, no, I didn't know I'd ramble this hard, but yeah, I I'm really more for it. Seeing this in a package, you know I'll buy it no matter what. Like, I'll just run to the shelf for this, so. Yeah, let's check out some other Beasties, though. <laughs> so these are uh, leaks for uh, Kingdom, uh, pictures of Cheetor, Black Ratnia, and uh, Warpath, who's not a... Uh, beastie or <laughs> whatever but <laughs> um he's just in there and uh, yeah these are found on 4chan i think the pictures so i mean there's a black arachnia and the cheetor is what i'll be focusing on but oh the black arachnia there's no bug mode for it but we already have a masterpiece of her i should get that but i mean it looks cool but i really like this figure oh my goodness this knocks it out of the park son she doesn't seem to have much of a backpack the legs look all right quality see this is the the, the price point that i'll be really excited for for the beast wars yeah I mean, she's got the rack, 
She's unracknid. <laughs> and yeah, she just looks great. The head sculpt, the colors are pretty spot on. I loved her in the show for a female Transformer. I mean, she always kind of freaked me out because she was kind of evil and bad and then good. And then, blah, 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 you know, she's kind of a little scary. But, I mean, <laughs> I did like her in the show. And, yeah, it was cool to have a fembot around uh, to watch and be like, oh, there is girl Transformers. But, um, yeah, and, like, Beast Wars played into the romance heavily. Oh, I just, I want to see this in arachnid mode or spider mode. Spider-Man, I choose you. Use Web Whip. <laughs> Oh yeah, different uh, show, but <laughs> she looks great, man. I'm I'm stoked. I'm hyped. Take my money, Hasbro. Um, yeah, I hope these are real, cause that looks minty fresh. Check out this cheater and it's cheetah mode. All right, I mean, cheater didn't he have green eyes. I mean, maybe these eyes aren't finished. I mean, it looks okay. It looks a little blocky underneath. Seeing this, I still would prefer the original toy, but I mean, this looks cool to see this on a shelf. Cheetah, and we're getting a Tigatron that'll probably be, hopefully it'll be a bigger version, not just a repaint, but if it is just a repaint like they usually do, I mean, that's fine. I'll be fine with it. It's a Tigatron that's coming, and I had that masterpiece Tigatron. <laughs> but yeah, this Cheetor, I always liked Cheetor as a kid. He kind of represented the Bumblebee, the hot rod of that era. He was the go-getter young uh, little spark <laughs> and yeah he's really cool and yeah his gun he used to have this like belly gun that he's more known for like the, the, the intestines were like on a gun in the show but, I mean and yeah he had a different tail uh, gun as well where it was like he only used it in like one episode but it was the tail gun that comes with him in the regular toy and this tail gun's different but I don't understand this uh, yeah this cheaters cheaters gun doesn't look um really anything like the show but i guess the kind of the rest is something's off with the cheetah to me but i mean a new cheetor that turns into a cheetah i'm in <laughs> another take on some classic toys i'm in <laughs> but yeah really looking forward to these guys i just had to drop uh so my love for it and you know i love beast wars you know i'll get into these guys um you know collect this stuff i'm working on other transformers videos yeah i'm really looking forward to these guys though um you know the black hat rat Nia looks awesome um the rat trap oof, he looks sick too i mean and this cheetor looks awesome you know i can't wait to see more but i can't wait for that tiger tron oh my god my sweet tiger tron but these guys are pretty cool as well and especially the black black hat rat Nia. Ooh, get her in there with the cheetors <laughs> but yeah no i'm stoked um you know they got my money on this one you know, it's fun to maybe not full completionist, but going for as many as I can get, you know, without going out of my way too hard for the Earthrise set, Siege, and all that. So, um, and yeah, of course, uh, Kingdom now. So, that's interesting. But yes, leave your comments down below. What other guys you want to see? Which out of these guys you like? Anything. Let's uh, have a little combo down there. And yeah, yeah, thanks for watching. Just wanted to spiel and tell you my love and excitement for this stuff happening and coming out. Oh, can't wait and all that so yeah um take care as usual stay strong stay safe stay positive this dolphin will catch you up on another video y'all <laughs> goodbye